So if you want to get good value from this advisory board that you put a lot of effort into creating and got these people to come on to it, and the main thing they want is an opportunity to help you because they believe in your company or because they believe in you and they want to be listened to, then you've got to use their time well. And part of selling them on why they would want to do this is not going to be, oh, come because we have, you know, we'll, we'll give you some stock options and we have really nice coffee and we have a good time. And they don't care about that. They want to make sure that you're going to be successful with this company. It's an investment of their time and it's worth something to them. So it's your job to manage them. They are not the board of directors. They are not managing you. They are your advisors. But it's your company to run. You have control, not them. You have responsibility, not them. It's your decisions. So they're there to help you, to advise you, provided you use them well. So you've got to manage them well. And the first thing is, don't waste their time. They're busy, and every minute that they spend here, they could have been doing something much more important. Don't waste their time. Be prepared, be organized. Right? You have a meeting, it has an agenda, and you follow it. You don't wander around in the weeds. If you're going to have an agenda, you give it to them at least a week in advance. If there's material to be read, they should have got it well in advance, time to read it, time to think about it, so that they come to the meeting and they can say intelligent things about it. So you've got to be organized, because if you go in and, and fluff it around, you won't keep any good people, because they're not going to waste their time doing that. So be organized, don't waste their time. And on the other hand, make them work. A lot of entrepreneurs go, oh, wow, I've got all these important people and they're advising me and I'll just, you know, whatever they decide to give me, oh, here's a lead, why don't you go chase it? And they'll accept that. That's not good enough. They're a resource. You brought them on board as a resource to help you to be more successful, then use them. Give them things to do. Assign them things. Give them deadlines. It's your job. You were brought onto this board of advisors because I thought that you could help me break into uh, getting my product on the shelf at Walmart because you know how product uh, um, purchasing people in large retail chains work. So do it. Here's my product. Get it there. Get me a meeting with the with purchasing guy for Walmart. Okay? You have three weeks and I want to have a meeting set up. Put them to work. They're used to being managed that way. They're used to business. They're successful people. That's how you get things done. So make them work. Don't waste their time and put them to work. Give them things to do. Don't just wait for them to offer up stuff. You know why you brought them on board. Use them in that way.